Manipulation is an emotionally unhealthy psychological strategy used by people who are incapable of asking for what they want and need in a direct way. People who are trying to manipulate others are trying to control others. The signs of emotional manipulation can be subtle. They're often hard to identify, especially when they're happening to you. Manipulative behavior involves three factors, according to Steins, fear, obligation, and guilt. When you are being manipulated by someone, you are being psychologically coerced into doing something you probably don't really want to do. You might feel scared to do it, obligated to do it, or guilty about not doing it. A person who is targeted by manipulators who play the victim often try to help the manipulator in order to stop feeling guilty. Targets of this kind of manipulation often feel responsible for helping the victim by doing whatever they can to stop their suffering. Psychological manipulation can be defined as the exercise of undue influence through mental distortion and emotional exploitation, with the intention to seize power, control, benefits, and or privileges at the victim's expense. Psychological manipulation is a type of social influence that aims to change the behavior or perception of others through abusive, deceptive, or underhanded tactics. By advancing the interests of the manipulator, often at another's expense, such methods could be considered exploitative, abusive, devious, and deceptive. These features of manipulative behavior are noticeably reflected in the character of Queen Igrith from Maleficent. Queen Igrith is seemingly willing to protect her people and the kingdom, and for her, the ends justify the means. However, the fact is she's wicked, spiteful, genocidal, warmongering, cunning, selfish, and is driven only by racism and hatred towards the Moors, which in turn leads to her aggression towards the fairies. She claims to be motivated by the tragic death of her brother, who she claims was killed by one of the enchanted forest creatures. However, when Aurora promptly tells she doesn't believe her, she doesn't bother to defend herself. Despite being a wife and a mother, she has no love or care for either of her relatives. This is shown by cursing her husband John to sleep eternally, telling him to rest in peace forever because he really wanted peace with Maleficent's magical kingdom and locking away her son Philip for trying to stop her evil plan. Igrith is motivated by the tragic death of her brother, who she believes was killed by one of the enchanted forest's creatures. Her sole purpose is to protect her people, and for her, the ends justify the means. She is described as wicked, cunning, and selfish, having a fear of the unknown, which in turn translates to aggression, with attack being her best defense. Following Aurora's coronation as Queen of the Moors, Igrith begins spreading the false story of Maleficent's role with the princess, reputing her as a villain and instilling her people with fear of magical beings. She secretly conspires against her husband, King John, by replicating the sleeping curse through the magical spinning wheel which she acquires. Once her son announces his engagement, Igrith hosts a banquet which is attended by her future daughter-in-law Aurora, Diavol and Maleficent. As tension rises between the two mothers, Maleficent loses her temper, which Igrith uses to her advantage, cursing the king to sleep while distracted and blaming Maleficent, turning Aurora and Philip against her, further turning the dark fairy against humans in a larger bid to destroy all magical beings. After Igrit's advisor Jurdas failed attempt to kill Maleficent by shooting her in the sky, she informs the queen of what happened, and that Maleficent was rescued by another dark fae, who was named Konal. To further her plan, Igrit has another minion of hers, Lickspittle, create red iron dust made from tomb bloom flowers, which the people from the moors use to bury their dead, which will kill all magical beings who come in contact with it. She continues trying to convince Aurora that Maleficent is a threat, in addition to pressuring her into fitting into her new role as the future queen of Ulstead, such as telling her there's more to being queen than walking around barefoot with flowers in your hair. 
she is a master of emotional and psychological manipulation, altering reality with lies, fibs, or misstatements in order to confuse Aurora and make her believe that Maleficent was an evil creature. A manipulator tends to exaggerate events to make themselves seem more vulnerable. They may also understate their role in a conflict in order to gain your sympathy. Emotional manipulators may skip a few steps in the traditional get-to-know-you phase. They share their darkest secrets and vulnerabilities. What they're really doing, however, is trying to make you feel special so that you divulge your secrets. They can use these sensitivities against you later. They diminish your problems and play up their own. Someone who manipulates people's emotions may eagerly agree to help with something but then turn around and drag their feet or look for ways to avoid their agreement. They may act like it's ended up being a huge burden, and they'll seek to exploit your emotions in order to get out of it. During a disagreement or fight, a manipulative person will make dramatic statements that are meant to put you in a difficult spot. They'll target emotional weaknesses with inflammatory statements in order to elicit an apology. There are so many traits and signs of a manipulator. Being able to identify manipulation is a large part of putting an end to it. If manipulation is coming from a loved one, it can be very difficult to seek help. However, manipulation can take a toll on your own emotional well-being. Therefore, it's important that you are able to find a safe way out of the situation. Check out one of our newest videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more videos about your favorite Disney and Marvel characters and the psychology behind them. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.